Welcome along, fellow time travelers and strange historians. This time around, we're going to travel back in time to check out some of my favorite images of the Maison Manton in Moulin, France, that was left untouched and sealed for 100 years since 1905. You're going to see some really cool snaps, some of which you may have never seen before. Now please join me around the campfire. Gather round and listen to the tale of the Maison Montan, a mansion steeped in history and mystery, nestled in the heart of Moulin, France. In the late 19th century, there lived a man named Louis Montan, a prosperous resident of Moulin with a passion for art and antiquities. Louis, with his keen eye for beauty, commissioned the construction of a grand mansion, which would be a testament to his wealth and refined taste. He hired renowned architect René Justin Moreau, who was aided by his father, Jean Bélizé Moreau, to craft the mansion's design blending Gothic influences with the picturesque charm of seaside villas. Completed in 1893, the mansion stood as a jewel in the crown of Moulin, boasting opulent interiors adorned with plaster decorations, wood-paneled walls, and luxurious furnishings. Every corner of the Maison Montan whispered tales of wealth and sophistication. The home was very modern for its time, in fact, it was the first in the entire town to have electricity. It had hot and cold water. Flushing toilets. and it even had a towel warmer. You can't say you wouldn't love to have one of those. It was in his mansion where Mr. Montan carried on a 20-year affair with a married woman, but he himself never married or had a family of his own. And so in 1905, when he was 54 years old, and he knew his days were drawing to a close, Louis made a curious decision. In his will, he bequeathed his mansion to the town of Moulin, with a peculiar stipulation. It was to remain untouched for a century, serving as a sort of time capsule for future generations. And this wish was respected by his friends, his family, and the entire town.
And so, for over a hundred years, Maison Montan lay dormant, its doors closed to the public, its treasures hidden from sight. But time took its toll, and the mansion fell into disrepair, its once grand halls fading into obscurity. In the year 2005, curators ventured into the depths of history, stepping over the threshold of Maison Montan. As they pass through the grand foyer, their flashlights cast eerie shadows on the walls, adorned with intricate wallpaper peeling away with age. The air was thick with a scent of decay, and the silence of the mansion was deafening. With each creak of the floorboards beneath their feet, they delved deeper into the labyrinth of rooms, their eyes wide with wonder and trepidation. They passed through parlors frozen in time, where antique furniture stood covered in dust, as if awaiting the return of their long-gone occupant. In the dining hall, the table was set with china and silverware, remnants of a lavish banquet long past, cobwebs draped over the chandeliers that seemed to be swaying gently in the draft that whispered through the empty halls. As they ascended the grand staircase, their footsteps echoed off the walls, that were adorned with faded portraits, with eyes that seemed to follow the people with silent reproach. But it was in the master bedroom where they found the true heart of the home. The room was untouched by time itself. The bed was neatly made. The sheets were pristine despite decades of neglect. Legend has it that on the nightstand lay a pocket watch, with his hands frozen at the exact moment of Matan's passing, a silent testament to the passage of time. As the curators stood in awe, surrounded by the relics of a bygone era, the curators couldn't help but feel a sense of reverence for the man who had preserved this slice of history for future generations. And as they made their way back into the light of day, they knew that the memory of Maison Monton would linger with them forever a haunting reminder of the fragility of time itself. In 2010, a dedicated team embarked on a mission to restore the mansion to its former glory. Through painstaking efforts, they breathed new life into its crumbling walls, preserving the legacy of Louis Montan for generations to come. Today, Maison Montan stands as a beacon of history, welcoming visitors to explore its hallowed halls. Within its walls lie treasures beyond measure, paintings, books, photographs, and curiosities 
collected by Louis Montan during his worldly travels. So, if you ever find yourself in the quaint town of Moulin, venture forth to Maison Montan, for within its story chambers, the past comes alive, whispering secrets of a bygone era and weaving tales of a man whose legacy will endure long into the future, as he had wanted. So, what do you think of Maison Montan? If you are rolling in dough, would you live in a place like that? You know I would. By the way, I don't know who took some of the photos that I've shown in the show, so if you do, will you kindly let me know, so I can respectfully give them the credit that they deserve. Kindly remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell, because there will be more videos like this one, and I hope you check those out too. Kindly check out the links below to learn how to support my research and productions. Specifically, I'd really appreciate it. If you could become a member of this channel and or join me on Patreon, you could also leave a super thanks in the comments below. Kindly be kind to all of our fellow Earthlings, and please don't hurt or eat them. They don't like that. Remember, for the benefit of compassion for all living things and their own health, kind and brilliant people throughout history chose a plant-based diet. And please do yourself a favor and go to a local shelter and adopt a cat or a dog or both. You and they will be very glad that you did. Until next time, I wish you safe travels on all your journeys.